Let's talk about tiger stripes and espresso. Uh, generally, tiger stripes are seen as a good indicator of a shot, um, but I wasn't so certain that was true. And I got into a discussion with somebody because I thought that a more um, even shot with fewer tiger stripes was better. And so I wanted to look at some data and collect some data. So uh, tiger striping is usually you have the, you have the um, uh, dark and lighter stripes that come out of a, a coffee puck uh, while you're brewing it, using a bottomless quarter filter. And I have noticed that tiger stripes occur from uh, faster flow rates. So if you look at videos where you have tiger striping occurring, you'll see that these blonde areas appear and then they, they start running faster than the uh, darker color coffee coming out. Um, so from that observation, I suspect that tiger stripes are actually a sign of channeling. Um, so very large channels usually come off as a very wide stripe. Um, and there's always some channeling going on. It's just a question of, can you see it? Does it impact the flavor? How does it impact the flavor? And this area of questioning is very nebulous. Um, but I've recorded a lot of espresso shots, so I wanted to better understand this and apply some data to it. So first, let's take a look at a shot. So each frame here is uh, 0.25 seconds. Um, so this comes from a, a longer slow motion video. So I, I pulled out some frames to, to take a closer look. So it starts off, uh, the, the filter covers, it starts off dark and then you go to infusion. So now let's slow down a particular part of the shot to 0.125 seconds. So you can see there's like a hole in the top. There's some other parts of the puck that look a little bit uneven and that's changing a little bit. So let's slow this down just a little bit more. Let's slow it down to 0 0.004 seconds per frame. So this is 240 frames per second. So really slow motion videos. Um, and so that one point is really clear, but you also have, you can see where the, uh, the channels are coming in from the sides. And you have this dark liquid that's held up and then slowly you have uh, uh, blonding coming in from uh, the outsides. And, and in this case, more uh, channeling is coming from the sides uh, because of the way water enters the the puck screen. And this is one of the challenges for espresso is side channeling is such a dominant way of channeling. But we can look at a single image. So we can see here, there's a, there's a slow spot here, which around the slow spot is darker coffee, which means you're just, the, the ex extracts are just kind of held there or slowly coming out. And you have other darker spots too, which I suspect are slower spots and they're surrounded by these faster flows. So I thought, okay, I have all these videos. How do I process this data? So uh, I took the photos, or the, the videos, I picked a frame, uh, and then I, I identified a marker for the center of the, of the uh, puck. And I took a, a, a cut of this, and then I computed the mean, the standard deviation, and the mean divided by the standard deviation. And I did this for a number of videos. Um, I thought the videos would be better aligned because I've been taking so many videos for my shots and they were not. They, they had a variety of uh, lighting uh, changes. They had a variety of uh, amount of a basket that was shown. Um, and uh, it, was, it was a bit more challenging than I thought it would be. Um, and this is one of the reasons why I, I would prefer to have a, a camera in a, in a static place on the machine so it gets the same shot every time. So I looked at correlation to final score, which is my taste metrics, um, to TDS and to extraction yield. And I looked at the, uh, the beginning of the shot, the, the middle of the shot, like the halfway point and the end of the shot. So this is correlation. A uh, uh, high correlation, in, a positive correlation means that uh, the two factors uh, go hand in hand. So like that would, a high correlation means that extraction yield is correlated to, you know, maybe it's correlated to tiger striping. Uh, if that were the case, then uh, the standard deviation, which is, is my measure for tiger striping. So how much 
like striping is there is should give you a higher standard deviation that should be a, a value closer to one now if it was the reverse that tiger striping was actually uh, inversely correlated to performance then you'd have a negative correlation but in this case most of these are below 20 uh, or, or, or 0 0.2 20 percent and which means nothing it means there's almost no correlation um, and if I, if I plot this, there, the, the same thing is true. I can look at final score and, uh, versus the first frame. And the first frame seems to have the most standard deviation. And uh, there, there isn't any correlation from this data. And that's not to say there's not a correlation for other people's data. Um, and it's not to say there's not a correlation in general, but in, in terms of my shots, and I, I, in an argument with somebody on Facebook, I was of the position that um, Tiger Stripes was channeling and it was bad for the shot, and they were of the position that was the opposite, um, uh, I was wrong, uh, at least for my shots. Uh, but they were also wrong, that it, it wasn't a, a correlation for anything, um, at least uh, in the way I can measure it. So I, I hope to measure this better one day. Um, and it would be nice if, if there was a system with a camera that would better understand when there is tiger striping and, and uh, or major channeling and is there a way to change the water input to combat that and i just don't know if that's going to be the case you know so uh we can look at the mean uh of the the first frame and uh, versus the standard deviation and so shows a, a slight trend meaning that uh the 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 higher, the lower the mean is, the, the higher the standard deviation is. Um, but it's not a great trend. And uh, the only thing that might suggest is that when you have a higher extraction shot, that uh, it's easier to see when there's uh, tiger striping because there's just more variability. Um, so I, I did this study uh, two years ago and it'd be interesting to, to look at this data again um, for more recent shots. Um, but most of my shots have been at pretty high extraction yield and, and I've been able to see in video where there's uh, major channeling and most of the channeling I found uh, comes from the side channeling, uh, which I've, I've been working on fixing the, the shower screen for water input. So I'm very interested to see if anybody else has any data like this and, and what they found with it. Because um, I'm just curious how uh, data could be used to, to better improve the coffee experience.